What is up guys? This is Jay here, Jay Media One. We're back with another product tech review. This time it's super cool because we have quite possibly one of the best and coolest iPad keyboard combos that there is. It's the coolest case keyboard combo. And this is made by a company called Chesina. And there might have been a few other reviews out there, but this thing is just awesome. And so we got the iPad Pro here. And we're going to try this out with the iPad Pro, show you guys what it looks like first. We're gonna do an unboxing as normal. And then we're gonna kind of go from there, check out all the specs, see everything that it can possibly do. So I'm gonna get my knife out here. I do have a knife this time, that's quite amazing for me. We're just gonna cut along this seam right there. And then we're gonna cut right here. And that's it, there's just these two stickers. And it comes in this nice, nice white box, pretty good packaging here. I'm gonna get rid of that. It comes with a little bit of reading material, what it can do, how to set it up. I'm gonna get rid of that as well. And then keyboard combo comes in a plastic case like this, plastic bag, take it out of there. I'm gonna have to use a knife for this one. Cut it at the top, unwrap it. And that's it. So right here you can see that there's an on off button right here. It's a slider, goes left and right. Then you have this obscure looking cable here that's USB-C. That is what's going to plug into the iPad. Then we also have a little notch right here. You can see that, that's where the camera cutout is. And then on that, it's like a clamshell opening style case. Nothing super special there. And then we have a little slot here for the Apple Pencil to fit inside of, which is really neat. And then it's got this plastic keyboard cover that comes with it. That's pretty awesome. <clears throat> Just keep the dust and dirt and grime and stuff like that out. And so it feels pretty light. There's a lot of flex right here around the edge. And that's just so that we could slide the, uh, the iPad in there. It's not too heavy. I expected it to be a little bit heavier, but this is for the 11 inch iPad model. If you were to get the 12 inch, I'm sure it would be much heavier. So here's what makes this thing so cool. If you look at the side, when you get this keyboard case, you get a USB-A there, you get an HDMI here, all this open space so that it can breathe and your speakers can sound real nice. Then if we flip it around, you get another USB-A and you also get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And that just makes it awesome. The coolest part too is that it is detachable. So we can slide it off right there. It just comes right off. And it's magnetized, so it holds pretty good. And if you get it right in the right place, it just snaps right in there. I mean, real nice, super easy. Folds down, turns it into basically a laptop. So we're going to pull this off and detach it. And we're going to do that just so we can slide in the iPad. So this is an this isn't the this is a 2018 iPad. So this isn't the 2020 that's got the four cameras, which this is notched out for. However, this should work just fine as far as size. They're the same. The only difference would be uh, the cameras themselves. So we should be able to slide this in here, no problem. You just got to find the best way to do it. So it is notched a little bit down here at the bottom. And then it is notched here at the top. So we're going to try to slide it in this way first and just kind of lay it down. So we're going to slide it in here like this. Just like that. And we're going to tuck it. And it is a super tight fit, guys. It really grabs onto it. I'm actually to the point where I'm prying away on the side, but there it goes. You can finally hear that final click where it just sits down. And I already have a, a glass screen protector on this, which is why it looks so reflective inside of there. But that's what it looks like, and it's a tight, tight fit. This thing is not going to come out of there. There's no way. On the back, like I said, since this is the older iPad Pro, it doesn't have the four cameras, but it fits just fine. It's perfect. And then you got your volume rocker right here. And then underneath, you can see the, the four little slots here. 
and those match up with these four slots so that you can line it up easier and then there's just a, a pin connector here and right there and that's what that's what it touches in order for it to make contact and these are spring-loaded uh, pins inside of there as well so then you take this portion of it USB-C and you go ahead and you just plug that into your iPad and you gotta work that a little bit to get it in there and then it slides in there real nice and you kinda just kinda tuck the cable down in here like that you just fit it down in there it takes a little effort but I like it to look clean so now it's down in there it looks really really nice and clean and we just take the iPad we set it on top and it's there and the coolest part is to see the backlights backlights come on as soon as you plug it in um, so the iPad does turn the keyboard on uh, this iPad's not set up yet but the iPad um, turns the keyboard on it powers the keyboard which is awesome and then you got all these function room buttons up here as well. So you get your volume rockers, your lock screen, uh, your home screen, your brightness display, your web. So you get all this extra stuff that you wouldn't get on something like a uh, like a Magic Keyboard from Apple. And then, like I said, there's also the really cool slot for the Apple Pencil. Um, the only thing that would make this thing any possibly any cooler is if there was a trackpad down here. But it is a touch screen, so you can use a mouse with it. Um, obviously it's, good, it's going to be a lot easier for you to um, to use a mouse because now you can plug a dongle in here and have a wireless mouse and also there is a USB-C slot down here too so you got everything that you can possibly need headphone, USB-A, USB-C you got HDMI out and USB-A and it's super solid it's strong you can turn this off you can turn the keyboard off or you can turn it on there um, I don't see any reason why I would ever turn it off but you can and it's super heavy guys it's nice plastic it's got these feet right here that are going to keep it from sliding and uh, it just makes it really have that laptop feel opening it up you guys can see it there if you were to put it down and then open it back up it's just really super nice clamshell design and so next we're going to go over a little bit of the tech specs we're not going to go too deep but we're just going to talk about a few things as far as you know battery life and things like that and that's it and then we're going to get out of here guys so hold tight okay guys some quick tech specs nothing too long here um, you already seen the HDMI out the type C the USB hub uh, with the audio 3.5 output it also has seven color uh, backlighting for the keys so you can pick between blue green red cayenne purple yellow or white whatever you prefer um, this one's specific to the uh, 11 but you can also get it for the 12 it has the apple pencil little slot down inside of there and the most important part about it is this thing only costs ninety nine dollars and ninety eight cents so if you guys want give this thing a look it's definitely well worth it I'm going to play with it for about a week or so. We might come back to this, tell you guys how it does. Other than that, guys, if you like this review, mash the like button. And also subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with new, new reviews and new videos on the newest and coolest tech products.